So I couldn't resist eating in a place that's called D's Butts. This is a barbecue place here in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I don't think you can go wrong at eating a place called that. I just think it's even fun to say, D's Butts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to a park. Hopefully the rain will hold out and we can go for a little walk. And we got Miss Gracie with us and our daughter. So the food was pretty good. Um, I like the wings a lot. We got sweet Thai. They had a little bit of heat to them, so it was really good. But we came over here to Saunders Springs Park. This is a 73 acre park next to Fort Knox. So we just pulled in here and there's some really beautiful cabins they moved here. So this cabin was built in 1875 by Ed Stovall. The first owner was Edward Hatcher, a Union soldier in the Civil War. The other side of the road is the Rainy Cabin. This was originally built in 1836, most likely by Hezekiel Owen Stovall, one of the first residents of what is now Radcliffe. So this cabin is the Stovall Cabins. This cabin was built in 1873 for newlyweds Ed and Matilda Stovall. It was originally located on Vine Street in Radcliffe. So this is the Stith Cabin. It was originally built by Henry Harrison still in 1874. He was in his late teens when he built this. It says that this cabin was disassembled by the Stilt family in 1994, 120 years after it was built to safeguard it from further weathering and was stored in a barn to 2018. It also said it had a second floor. It's one of the larger cabins of its time. So over here are some water towers. There is a very large hill in this park. So we didn't stop at the Welcome Center because you're like on top of the canyon. So we drove down to come down here and check out the trails. So we found where the cave is. My daughter found out how cold it is. And of course I didn't wear the right shoes. I guess it's worth it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That water is wow, wow, wow. So the trails here are pretty short. They kind of range all over the place. Some steps and trails kind of wander all over the place. 
we went to the Tranquil Trail. Now we're on this lake trail. The cave is not allowed visitation. Here's some really nice steps here. Of course, after you're going to Kaymore Mines in New River with 900 some odd steps, steps seem easier now when there's only like a hundred or two of them. I didn't think I'd ever say that. So if it's not over 900 or a thousand, it's like, ah, it should be pretty easy. I never thought I would say that. Not sure what this rusty metal thing is. Looks like Abby has found a nice little spring. Wow, that's a lot of water. Water was coming for I stuck the camera in the hole. It looks like some good fishing spots here. Plenty of people fishing. You could probably do most of these trails in a day. There's also mountain biking out here as well. They have trails for that. Well, that's kind of a little dangerous. And there's plenty of uh, places to have a picnic. This just seems like a fun little place to wander around and just have a little adventure. Checking out all the little different places. This is the Kentucky Native Plants Garden. It's a hundred different uh, species of plants, mostly wallflowers and ferns. Here's a butterfly bush. Pretty powerful smell. So, how are you doing? My wife missed the hike. She is doing terrible. She's been in the car. Not sure what the problem is. I don't know, but I feel super yucky. I've been standing up for about three minutes now. I have to go to the back. Something to do with around where her liver area is just in unimaginable pain right now. She was feeling fine. And then we started going and she ate something. And then about an hour later, she felt terrible. But I think we had a timing was pretty good. It looks like a storm is going to flow through here. Looks like it's getting pretty dark here. So. The visitor center was closed. I don't know when it's open, but uh, came up here to look at the uh, overlook where we were down in the canyon here. But I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. If you're in the area, you should check out this ice cream shop. It is really good. It's homemade ice cream. It's Gracie approved. She gives it five licks up. Don't you, Gracie? Oh, yeah.